Hello and welcome to more Storybook Brawl. It's actually been quite a while since I've played this game. Took a little break over the weekend and stuff, but we're back at it. Uh, let's look at Horde Dragon. Muerte looks kind of weird. Looks like pixelated or something. Uh, maybe I'm just closer to my monitor or something. I'm in a new recording setup too. Um, it's temporary, but we'll see. Anyway, we got Horde Dragon or Loki. Um, I love Horde Dragon. Level 7 treasures are just fun. I'm, I'm a big fan of getting... Uh, what's the one? Like, the most ridiculous game I've ever played was when both people, I think it had Mirror Mirror, which is the one, like, when a creature dies, you get a 1-1. One, one. Uh, that's the one I was the most interested The whole thing looks pixelated. Um, well, I'm gonna record this one, and I'll fix it for later. So, I don't know, we'll see what's up with that. Uh, I'm gonna take three blind mice, though. Aha! I've fixed the pixelation. It was just set to the wrong resolution. That makes quite a bit of sense, So. Problem solved, I guess. And we got it. Okay, okay. Um, we can roll. We can take the chicken. I guess we can take the chicken and roll. That just kind of makes sense to me. Looking for another three blind mice because getting a level five treasure is pretty ridiculous. I actually will take the roll to try and do that. We could take a poly. We're playing against the cursed king, so it's unlikely that they're going to have a creature that Polly can slay, so I think I'm just going to stick with this team for now. Oof. Oh, man. We actually could have potentially slayed with Polly, but that's a strong team. Okay, there's the second blind mouse. There's also Mad Min, which kind of helps. I could try and get greedy and go for eeny, meeny, miny, mo, but hitting Crafty would be pretty bad. So I think we're going to play it safe. Buy the mouse? I could buy the mouse and then eeny meeny miny mo. Gets plus one plus one, so I could have a four three dragon. Cause right now Mad Mim is good, but yeah, actually let's do this. Okay, that yeah. I pretty much needed something like that for my team to be good, because getting the extra one power on Mad Mim early is pretty nice because a one four actually does matter. I can survive a dragon hit and things like that. But just having an O3 like because normally what's going to happen is you're going to get down to like a 2-2 two -two versus your 1-4. And then, oh yeah, look at this. Uh, Yeah, exactly this, right? They kill that, and because Mad Mim has attack, we just easily win this fight. But if he didn't have attack, we wouldn't. So, I think the greed paid off. Now let's just find our third blind mouse. Ooh, there's Adventure very early, and we can cast the book spell. Or we could do something even better. Which is get baby root to make adventure a 4 4. Um, yeah, I kind of like doing that. Let's do that. And I actually am going to lock because, well, I could sell the chicken and get a baby dragon. It just has an extra point of power. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that as well, because that then I can move it like this. Because I want the pair of baby dragons getting level 3 treasures off 2 drops is pretty strong with Horde Dragon. And I think I like the book, because buffing up adventure is going to be good too. So we'll see, I don't know. Locking for pairs is maybe a bit too aggressive, but it's not so bad. Yikes. Alright, adventure. We hit their 2-2 with my 5 power. That attack's there. This is about as bad as it could possibly go. <laughs> so, well, we killed the upgraded. Wow, Wonder Waddle's super high rolling. They got Forking Rod. That's going to be tough to beat. Um, Alright. So as long as we don't fight Wonder Waddle, we should be okay. We could take the tree, the baby dragon, and then roll. There's another adventure, but... I don't think doubling. There's another baby dragon. I could do one damage to everything. This increases the chances of adventure slaying. But now I have to run it like this. So I can run this here. Oh, this is a 2-5. I didn't even realize. Okay, I did that all wrong. This is a little bit better. And then I can lock for baby dragon triple, hopefully for a treasure. We're playing super greedy for this turn because... I bought Falling Stars not realizing if I moved Adventure over it would die. So 
but we'll hope this works out. And Merlin just don't have too strong of units in the front. Okay. Okay, we get the slay. That's important. Um, also, decreasing their toughness by a lot is pretty important. Um, so that one damage to everything did kind of matter. We take damage, but it's not like super amounts of damage. We're only tied. No, we're still beating the Cursed King. Okay, so now we can triple the Baby Dragon. Get Crystal Ball. And then turn it into an upgraded level 3. Which is a doubly that we put here as an 11-11. And then we can get Black Cat. We're playing against uh, Jack's Giant, so I don't think Adventurer really is going to get there. Um, I think I just have to take like this Black Cat. Well, 10 damage to a random back row enemy. No, our team's going to be weird for now. We're almost certainly losing this. But we're going to go out with style. Alright, Jack's Giant, don't be too strong. You're, you have 36 health though, so... We killed their Lucky. We have... 4 wounds kills their Cat. That survives. This kills that thing, which doesn't get an attack. Okay. Goes there, just don't. It goes there. We barely lose. I'll take that against the, the number one. And we have Crystal Ball, so a good sign all around. Uh, this is kind of bad. We just hit level four. You know what we could do? The old switcheroo. <laughs> This is such a bad idea. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> it's a horrible idea. But, you know, that's why I play the game. For opportunities like this. Uh, we could sell Mad Mim for Sporko. I guess the problem is I kind of need... Oh, this is, this is so stupid. Um, plus two plus two. So this will become a two five. I think my team is a bit weak for adventure. I could just take Wish Upon a Star and then hit level 5 next turn. I could sell the pair of Blind Mice. Or I could just roll. This is a 22 triply because we are boosting up my baby roots. I love it. And we sniped their dragon. What could possibly go wrong? They only have an 11-3 ranged unit. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that dies. That can't even slay. And then we just lose to Shadow Assassin. Right as we drew it up. Alright, we need to stabilize now. We need to do some things. Um, another heart... Okay, wait. Hang on. This is actually getting more decent now. We can do it like... Hmm. I think... The adventure is not for us. But this is getting interesting now. <laughs> Mono Trees comp. Uh, ooh, the Nutcracker. Do I sell for that? I think I do. Um, what do I sell? I want this in the back. I want the Nutcracker here, so let's sell... I know this is bad. I know we need Tripoli, but this is more fun. Sell one, two, three, four for the Nutcracker. And I want him to get all of the buffs, I think. And now we can put Tripoli as a 211. Actually, this is not so bad. We have a 211 to go with our Darkwood Creeper. Who, I think actually this does need the buffs. We're going to get buffs off Toil and Trouble. So if we hit Tripoli, 
That'll be good. And then if we survive this round, we can start going Crystal Ball with Triply. Oh yeah. 817. Everything gets an attack. This is not a terrible composition we switched into. It's super janky. But it's not horrible. Uh, that going there, we might die. <laughs> Them attacking that thing, I think we die here. But you know what? It was gonna be good. We're gonna do another one, because that was unfortunate. I think we're on the, the brink of greatness. The old doubly front row support team. We were just like a turn or two late for that to actually get through. Hello and welcome to more Storybook Brawl. Ooh, we get new Geppetto. Um, which is a character to try out. Loki, I love Sad Dracula. Let's just... Oh, I just love Sad Dracula too much. It's... I don't think it's the greatest hero, but it leads to some ridiculously fun snowballing things. And I think with the new Vainpire, it actually gets a lot better. Because now we have a three-cost character we can start snowballing with. Rather than before, like, I think the... Uh, you needed a four cost, really. So, yeah, I think this is great. Uh, this team is pretty bad, although Rainbow Unicorn with Sad Dracula is actually kind of sweet because if you can get a slay with your unicorn, like let's say they have a 2-2, two -two, and round one they attack first and then you slay them, uh, you go to a 2-5, and just having two power on the Rainbow Unicorn is actually pretty good in the first like three turns of the game. Uh, just because like it now can kill... I think three two twos, which is, you know, most characters at this point are two twos. So being able to kill three two twos with one character for one slay is really nice. Uh, we are going to lose this because they buffed up their guy. But if it was a two three, I think we would have tied or something. Um, here, there's a couple things we can do. We could take BB Root. We could take Eeny Meeny Miny Mo. I think I like doing that. The dragon was the worst of the options, but it's still a fine character. Um, having a dragon get buffs off Sad Dracula is pretty good. And I could take Baby Root to like let our characters attack more, or I can roll. I think I like Baby Root, actually. Um, making this into a 4-6 and this into a 1-8 seems pretty good. And again, just having more turns for our characters to attack... Oh yeah, see? Look at that. Double slay. Now it's a two. Then we bring in the baby root. And we could bring in Cinderella. Yeah, I guess because we have free roll, we might as well. Ooh, I love happy little tree in these situations. But we are about to hit level three, and I don't really see the need. Like, it's great if we had gotten it earlier. I think it basically does what Rainbow Unicorn does, but better. Uh, at least with um, Sand Dracula. But I think we're just going to let our team be and hope to hit, like, a Vampire or something like that. Another option could be the uh, Sherwood Sure Shot. Range ends up being pretty strong with uh, attack boosts. Oh, yeah. Sniped. How did they get a vein? Oh, they're Peter Pants. Okay, well... This went pretty terribly, but at least our unicorn got to slay. Okay, there's our vampire. So we put this here, put this here. And I guess I want to put this here. And what do we do? We're playing against Potion Master, so we're not super likely to win. So I think I'm just going to take the baby dragon. Um, instead of getting spinning cog or whatever. Just having a, a more full board makes sense to me. And a 3-7 Vainpire. I don't know how likely this is to slay. So maybe I'm supposed to have the 6-6 six, six attack first. I kind of like that better because then with the 3-7, they could have like a, a unit that attacks and then gets damaged. And then we can attack and kill them. It just seems reasonably unlikely that they're going to have like a three toughness in the front. Okay, well, <laughs> we do kill their main attack source. And we get a slay on our unicorn. And we do win the fight. 
I think if I had done it the other way around, we lose, so... That worked out for us, I guess. Uh, there's an adventurer. I don't really have any way to boost the adventurer's attack currently. So I don't love that. I could take the prized pig. Of course I'm taking the prized pig. There's another Vainpire. Um, at this point I'm kind of just off Cinderella. And I think I'm going to go for... Double Vainpire, put this here. We're playing against Dual Fennel. Like, we just need a couple slays with these, and then they're going to start being good enough to do some crazy stuff. I also... Maybe like this type of situation. Because then our dragon attack snipes their backcourt, and then the Vainpire gets in. Yeah. Let's try that. Because if they have a baby root, killing that's going to be quite good. Alright, I regret my decision? The one character they had that the Vainfire could have attacked and killed is suicide. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, this is, um, not good for us, to say the least. Royals comps are everywhere. I feel like the, the level 3 cost Prince Arthur is just too strong, probably. That's really good for us. And I'll go for a triple baby root. Why not? Perfect. Book of Heroes. Whenever your good character attacks and kills an evil character, uh, I think you have to take Dancing Sword. And now we're going to do this. And I could lock for Wicked Witch of the West as well. I think this unicorn in the front is actually a bit better. Because it's just a 5-5. Five five. Yeah, this seems okay. It's not great. Our comp is super weird. But it's okay. I am, however, getting the feeling, at least from these couple games, that Royals are just way better than everything else. Because everybody's running royals, and I'm getting just obliterated by them. Okay, at least Romeo's dead, but like, I would have nothing that can stand up to this, because the... Prince Arthur just buffs, like you basically... Yeah, I guess I'm just playing this wrong. I think royals are just the comp to play. Because you just take like a Prince Arthur early. And then you get like Cinderella upgraded from quests or whatever, and then suddenly you're getting plus four plus four on all your units as early as turn three. And that's kind of messed up. What can I do to salvage this? Um, I mean, Sleeping Princess gets pretty big. I could do something like this. To get a 10 10, and then I can run a 6 6. I guess Princess P is probably just better in that situation. Because she's now a 9 15. And then I could get rid of this Vainpire and run this Dragon. Yeah, I think actually we're effectively giving up on the Vainpire dream. And we ourselves are transitioning into Royals, I guess. Could take Puff Puffs though. I do love the idea. But I think this is like our strongest comp forward. And that gives us our best chance of winning, which I like. And we're playing against Horde Dragon, who has not lost a single match. Let me guess, they're playing Royals. Okay, no, they're on Slay. Interesting. I'm actually a bit surprised by that. How have they not lost a single match? Their comp looks pretty bad. I guess the Queen of Hearts does a good job of stabilizing in some spots, but... Hey, we finally got a slay off our Vainpire. <laughs> no! We didn't want that to attack there. No! Alright, well we do tie, so we'll take it. We will take that. Turn an evil character good and give it plus four health permanently. 
Uh, we can go for Princess P, I guess. Another frog, sure. Uh, let's give this the buff. And I guess Lady of the Lake is pretty strong. Do I have any chance of actually tripling the dragons? Maybe Prized Pig is not really where we're supposed to be. But we can go like... Prized Pig is just weaker than some of these. So we're going to take Lady of the Lake. 9, 12. This is going to be like a 10, 14. When I put this in, it's just going to be even bigger. I mean, our comp is decent now. I guess I kind of want to switch it like this. And maybe I do want the vein pyre attacking first. He has a 918. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I don't hate this current composition. At least one of our princess peas is huge. No! <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright, alright. Vein pyre got a slay. This went down. That got a slay. This gets a slay. Court wizard goes there. This attacks there. That dies and we kill them. Okay. No, we don't. We tie. <laughs> okay. Well, not so bad. Um, I don't really think we have any attack boosting for Polywoggle. Lightning Dragon is pretty good with Sad Dracula. So that is something to look at. But I think it's it's just okay with Sarah Dracula. There's another Lady of the Lake. Which is pretty good to put back here. Because now our Princess Peas, they are pretty big. Um, I could just give up on this unicorn, and I think I am just going to do that. Because we're just looking for triples of our strong characters. The Nutcracker... It only needs to get hit four times. We're playing against Loki. Could put it here as a 521. At that point, I guess I kind of want it here. Okay. And there's triple Princess P. I will lock for that. She's not amazing, but she's fine. Uh, this is a 1013, and this is a 1013. So they're identical. Um, I think I'm going to triple this, so I guess I want that one to run first. But yeah, we're going for greed and getting a level 4 treasure off the Nutcracker, because we're playing against Loki, who was the lowest ranked, but they have this giant Cinderella. And they just instantly kill my guy, okay. <laughs> oh look, they're playing Royals. This Royal situation is actually very out of hand. We're going to take a ton of damage here. Because not only, it's basically Gilded Harp all over again, right? Because not only do you get, um... Ooh, there's a wild growth. I'm nowhere near anywhere capable of being able to take a wild growth, but you know what? <laughs> it's something. We just hit level 5. I could get a level 6 by casting Masquerade Ball. I don't think I... I mean, I could join the army and get Prince Arthur, but everyone else is already doing that. So it's not going to be super helpful. There's a Juliet. Oh, Lancelot. I like that. Let's sell... I'm just kind of off these dragons. We're going to play Lancelot. Put this over here. Um, The one benefit of whatever happened last round is our opponent did... uh have two things that did one damage to everything, so the Nutcracker could get there. Is there anything we could do that's stronger than this? 10-8. 10, 10-13 versus 5-15. Because I do need to win this fight, right? They have a... Peter Pants is pretty strong. I'm probably just going to lose to Royals. We'll see what's going on. We'll check. We'll check the meta. We could get a good hit off deck of many things, too. Because not only do we have to win this fight, but we have to win the next couple fights. Ooh, they're playing dwarves. Okay. Well, that was pretty unfortunate. 
21. Yeah, we do lose this. Man, okay, we are getting stomped. Triple upgraded plus Dracula's Saber on uh, Triply is pretty brutal as well. So I don't think we were winning that one. Well, that's an eighth place. <laughs> oh no. Oh man, that's unfortunate. Let's do another one. Why not? 